Hi, single Aries. This is going to be y'all reading single Aries for July the 17th to July the 19th, 2022. Aries, I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you're staying positive, protected, blessed, and prayed up and keep you guys all the way up. Okay, Aries and cross watchers. Aries. Spirit guides, my God, and angel or angel ancestors, my God, angel, Holy Spirit. What are the messages for the Aries? Aries, 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 the single Aries. What are the messages for the single Aries? What are the messages for the single Aries and cross watchers, spirit guys? What are the messages for the single Aries? What are the single Aries thinking, feeling, doing? What are they up to? What are they going through? Single Aries. What are the messages for the spirit? Damn, Aries, y'all ass crazy. You jumped out my hand. The cars, like, what y'all... And... <laughs> Single Aries. Aries. What are the single Aries thinking? So they doing what are they up to? What are they going through? Single Aries for July the 17th to July the 19th, 2022. Single Aries, spirit guys. What are the messages for the single Aries? What are the messages, spirit guys, for the single Aries? Single Aries. Uh, the single Aries thinking, feeling, doing what are they up to? What are they going through? All right, single Aries, I'm finna cut the cars. Without a message, spirit guide for the single Aries. Eight of swords at the bottom of the car. Wow. You feeling stuck and trapped all in your head about the past? You thinking about the past memories, the past relationships, the good times, the fun times you used to have with someone, Aries, right? So you're thinking about the past. You're still living in the past. Yeah. It's like you can't get over this Gemini. You're thinking about a Gemini. Someone, I don't know. Yeah, you're still thinking about a Gemini. You're thinking about someone from the past. Okay, you could be still stuck on them. You could be still have you know, feelings for them, still love them or whatever. Okay, that's the bottom of the card, the Eight of Swords. Oh, this could be a Gemini that's stuck on you, that still thinks about you. Okay, so it can go both ways. All right, we have the Page of Swords. So this is you, Aries. You're stalking and spying, being very deceptive towards someone. Or this could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius doing it to you, stalking you, spying on you, being very deceptive towards you. It can go both ways, okay? But I believe this is you. You can have Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, in your placement chart or whatsoever. But someone's being very deceptive. Someone's stalking someone, spying on someone, doing, you know, nasty things behind their back. You know, trying to get information on someone, just like, this could be a masculine female or a masculine man. Like I said, this could be you, Aries. Or this could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius that's doing this to you, stalking you, spying on you, being very deceptive towards you. Okay. So we have the four ones. Yeah, someone's watching someone and they family and a couple. So it's like <laughs> You can, this could be you, or this could be a, someone that you're dating, you're messing around with, Aries. They can be stalking you by your house, stalking your family, stalking your relationships, okay? Uh, this could be a mistress of yours or someone. Or this could be you stalking someone, stalking someone by their house, watching someone by their house, watching someone, see if someone's with someone, are they in a relationship with someone else, or what they're doing. It's like you're trying to get information, Okay? The page of swords and the four of wands. What's the page of swords and four of wands? It's like you... It's like you stalking a family, a, a, a ex of yours, or someone. Someone's stalking somebody. All right? Like, being very deceptive. Like, if, like it's like... Someone... I don't know. This is crazy. Yep. That's you, Aries. The Knight of Swords, this is you. You're stalking, watching, looking, trying to see if someone... You're trying to see is a partner of yours you used to date and hang out with, love, you had love for, whatever, shit. You're trying to see is this person with someone, are they taking, are they dealing with someone else? And you, if you, if they are, you gonna, like, come at them like crazy? Okay, like they still belong to you or something? Okay, the Knight of Swords is you coming at someone. 
you coming towards someone, all right? The Empress, you coming towards the Empress. Yeah, your divine counterpart, divine feminine, the chosen one, star, sea, earth, angel. <laughs> you coming towards the Empress. You finna fight for the Empress. You want this person back. This is the love of your life, your soulmate, your twin flame, whatsoever. But this is someone that you, you know, you all protected of. You, 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 you like, this person belongs to you. Can nobody else have this person but you? It's like if you see this person with somebody else, you will snap Coco Pop Cracker Jack on someone's motherfucking back, you know? So you're stalking someone, you're watching them, you're being very deceptive, Aries. I mean, or this could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius doing to you, stalking your family, stalking your relationship, stalking your house. But this is you, Aries. So you're going after Empress. You're going after one that, that has your heart, that you're supposed to be with, that you love. And that's the Empress. You could have a child by this person or kids by this person as well. You see this person is very loving, kind-hearted, and uh, a good person. This person was good to you. All right? This person makes you feel welcome, makes you feel like you're at home. This, person's, this person makes you feel like you can do whatever you want. This person, it's like you can be yourself around this person. Aries. You see, this person is very loving, kind-hearted, nurturing. Okay. Yeah, you see, this person is your soulmate, the one. And you're willing to fight for it. You're willing to fight for this relationship. So you're coming out of Woolock or somewhere. you just flying. you speedy. Like, you hurrying up to get to this empress before someone else take her. you like, fuck this shit. I want my empress back. I want my soulmate back. I want my goddamn everything back with this person. You remember how this person treated you. This person loved you. This person treated you like, you know, this person wasn't ashamed of you. You realize that. You remember all the good times you and this person used to have. This person never looked at you different. This person made you feel welcome, felt like, you know, at home, at peace with yourself. It's like you can just be yourself around this person. Okay, magician. So someone's doing magic. You're doing magic, Aries. You're trying to manifest this person back in your life, Aries. You could be doing love magic, sex magic, come back to me magic spells, juju, voo voo, voodoo. Magician, yeah. That's a Gemini uh, Virgo magician. It will give me any sign. Yeah, you, I don't know if you're trying to do magic on this person. You went to a high priest or something. A witch or a warlock. I don't know, to bring this person back to you, Aries. Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. So yeah, you turned into magic. You went to a witch doctor or a, 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 a a high priest or a practitioner or a light worker or someone, a witch or something. You went to them to, to, to try to get this person back in your life. You know, Aries? <sighs> yeah, the nine of pentacles. So you see this person is very beautiful, abundant, happy, unbothered. Okay. Um, yeah, this this is the love of your life, Aries. You love this person. You you remember you and this person had good times, you know, together. Okay? And you want to be a family again with this person. You want another chance with this person again, Aries. Like I said, you could have done magic, try to bring this person back towards you, or doing love spells and shit on this person. Yeah, you see this person is very beautiful, gorgeous, strong on her throne, Aries, or his or him on his throne, whatever. But you see someone very beautiful, confident. Um, yeah, like I said, you could have kids by this person. You want another chance. You want to be a family all over again with this person. Okay, Aries, three of ones. Yeah, you holding on to this person. Yes, you holding on to this person, or you could have, be holding a grudge towards this person, but you holding on to this person, all right? You holding on to this person, and you would not let this person go. 
This is the love of your motherfucking life, Aries. Yeah, you coming in real quick. A Virgo, yeah. Ten of Pentacles, a Virgo. You could have Virgo in your summer, rice, Venus, no, no, a child, or who whatsoever. But this is you. You coming in with the Ten of Pentacles, or you want the Ten of Pentacles, this person, you you going to get this person the Ten of Pentacles, who knows? But this is you. You coming in, you like to get that. You're taking a leap of faith. You're taking a chance. All right. You could be going to tell this person you're sorry, apologizing to this person for how you did her or did him. Okay. This is your soulmate. You see yourself happy with this person. This person makes you happy. All right. You see yourself spending your whole life with this person. All right. This is your soulmate, your divine counterpart. Mm-hmm. You see this someone, this, this person can have a child or kids by you. But you see this person as marriage material, wife material. You know, you see this person as the one for you. Okay? Can nobody take this person place? You try so many people, Aries. I mean, I'm not trying to make you look bad, but you have been out here on these streets. Okay? And you've been fucking around. You know, and you realize, can nobody take this person place? You cannot replace this person. And you freaking realize that now. You cannot replace this person. This person is your soulmate. Y'all are destined to be together. Y'all, you know, whatever happened or whatever you did, Aries. Okay. Yeah, you see this person as someone that you will share your life, your dreams with. If they give you another chance, you come in to prove to this person that you change, that you're a totally different person now, different man, a different woman. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's clarify the magician. Ooh, shoes. Hmm. So I clarify the magician for the single Aries. Clef, thank you, spirit. Yeah, this is you, Aries. The magic ain't working. <laughs> I think it backfired on you, Aries. <laughs> you was trying to do magic on this person to bring her back to you or to bring him back to you, but it didn't work. Okay, I think it backfired on you because this is you. You leaving the you 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 letting go the magic the 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 magician you you letting go the witchcraft the voo voo juju you're not gonna go to the high priest or the practitioner no more the witch doctors the witch or whatever you would call it but this is you you going through karma okay like I said this magic could have backfired on your ass okay. This person is very protective. Whoever you're trying to do magic on or get back in your life, this person is very highly blessed and favored and protected, okay? This person could be a chosen one, star seed, earth angel, a divine feminine or a divine masculine, whatever you have, whatever you want to call it. But this is you coming towards this person. <clears throat> you realize the black magic ain't working. It can't bring your sugar boo-boo back to you. So you feel like, hey, fuck it. I need to go see this person face to first. You know, see this person face to face. You're coming in with a whole lot of baggage and lies. And, okay, you're not being honest. You're not being lawyer. Okay. You're hiding something. Hidden genders, motives, and flaws. Okay. Um, it's time to get your life together, Aerie. It's time to get your shit together. Okay. You're going to be living your life going back and forth to different people, to this partner, to this partner. It's time to grow the fuck up. It's time to grow the fuck up and, and, and be a man or be a woman and, and and take accountable to your responsibilities. You understand what I'm saying? Own up to your mistakes. When you own up to your mistakes, you can move forward in life. You can move on in life. You can, you know, attract positive people in your life, positive energy, because people are going to look at you like, okay, this person really, really changed. Trust me and believe people will feel your energy, anybody's energy. Okay, they'll know that someone change. So you could be coming to this person, telling this person you change and all that shit. All right, you like you going through karma. This is your karma. You going through how you did this person, how you treated this person. This is what you going through for how you treated this person. You know? Wow. 
Wow, is this what I'm seeing? Hmm, 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 hmm. Yep. Let me see some. Yeah, you could be like ending a relationship with someone else coming towards this person. But you're not ready to grow the fuck up. It's time to grow up. You're a grown-ass man, a grown-ass woman. Okay? People don't want you coming back and forth, ending out their life like that. You realize the grass wasn't green on the other side. You realize that you didn't love this person. Who you choose, who you chose over. The divine feminine empress. Your soulmate. You played your own self, trying to play somewhere else. That's how, you know, when you're trying to be a player or whatever you want to call it, you end up playing your motherfucking self. You end up being your own worst enemy. You understand what I'm saying? So you end up being your own worst enemy. Okay, so we got clarified the nine of Pentacles. Clarify the nine of Pentacles for the single Aries. Clarify the nine of Pentacles, spirit. Yeah, someone's coming in towards... You could be traveling towards this person, Aries. You could be coming in to see this person. Yeah. Let me see some. It's going to clarify the Eight of Cups for the single Aries. Clarify the Eight of Cups for the single Aries. Let me see something. Let's do your intuition. I mean, yeah. Okay, let me see some. All right, let's do this over. Well, not over, you know what I mean. Yeah, Spirit, give me more. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, Spirit. Give me more information on the Nine of Pentacles for the single Aries. Okay, this is you. Work. Money. You like this person? You, you I don't know. Okay, let's see. So we're going to clarify the nine of pentacles for the single Aries. Clarify the nine of pentacles spirit for the single Aries. Clarify the nine of pentacles for the single Aries. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles spirit. Thank you. Someone's, you could be stalking this person, Aries. Yeah, you could be stalking this person. Yes, you are, Aries. I know you are. You're stalking this person. You're looking at this person, how beautiful this person is, how good this person looks. It's like you can't believe this person still look the same. All right, you know you fucked up. You feeling, I don't know, you feeling some kind of way, some type of way now. You feel stupid or something. I don't know what you thought, but this maybe you thought this person couldn't make it without you. Shit. This person is abundant, looking good, and you looking at this person, you watching this person, and you see how beautiful this person looks, how abundant this person is. This person is unbothered. You realize this person is not giving you any attention anymore. This person tried to give you a chance, but you didn't suffer. You didn't take it. You was too busy whoring around, playing whole games. Okay? <laughs> or somebody was too busy playing around. Now you're stalking this person. So I clarified the three. Damn, that was quick. Ten of cups. Like you want this family back. You want to like you want to rekindle, reunite with this person. Ten of cups. It could be someone you have a child about, or kids about, or family member, a friend, or whosoever. The ten of cups. Yeah, this is someone you still holding on to. Okay, you still holding on to. Mm hmm. Let me see something. Yeah, this is someone you still holding on. Clarify the three of wands. Spirit, give me more information on the three of wands. Yep, you still holding on to this person. You're not letting this person go. You're not ready. You're not. You're not ready to let this person go. Okay, you're not gonna let this person go. Clarify the three of wands for the Aries. Give me more information for the Aries. Three of wands. 
Clay, I've had a three of wands spirit. You want to propose to this person? You want to get married to this person? Okay. Let me see. Clarify the three of wands for the single Aries spirit. Clarify the three of wands for the single Aries. Oh, shit. All the cards just fell out of my hands. See, Aries, your ass all over the place, your energy. So I'm going to put the Ten of Cups back. I just wanted to see something. Okay, Aries. All right, let me hurry up. Shit. Okay. Oh. All right. So we got clarify the Ten of Pentacles for the single Aries. Clarify the Ten of... Okay, there we go. We have a tower. What the fuck? The tower lies secrets coming out about lies and secrets. Maybe you lied on this person. Maybe you betrayed this person. Maybe you reported this person. You backstabbed this person or some shit. Secrets going to come out. This person know about the betrayal. This person know you betrayed them, deceived them. Aries. The tower. What the fuck? Yeah, this person knows your secrets. This person knows. Like the tower, what is you trying to do, Aries? Yeah, this person knows about the third party. This person knows what you're up to, Aries. Your secrets, your lies. This person knows that you betrayed them, deceived them. Okay. So we gotta clarify the tower. Give me more information on the tower for the single Aries. Yeah, the moon car. Something's being hidden, like secrets, lies being exposed. Deception, lies. Whatever you kept hidden is going to come out. Or this person knows, this empress knows. What's the tower? The moon car. Gossiping, lies, deception, betrayal. This person knows you dealt with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. Oh. Someone knows you dealt with a friend of theirs. Okay. Seeking lies. Hidden genes, motives, and flaws. Hmm. Wow, Aries. <laughs> yes. Something is hitting the towel. Yeah. Something's gonna come. Okay, anyway. Clarify the Ten of Cups spirit. Give me more information on the Ten of Cups for the Aries. Okay, the King of Swords. This person got her guards up. Or he got his guards up, Aries. This person that you want to reunite with, rekindle with, you know this person got their sword up. All right? This person ain't playing no games with you anymore, Aries. No bullshit. This person is straight cutting motherfuckers' throat with their sword. They slicing and dicing. This person is not playing with you. All right, Aries? This person is not playing any more games. I don't know if it's over or uh, this person just... It's not letting you near by them. It's not letting you... I don't know what you did to this person, but this person have, like, restricted you. This person is very cold-hearted. This person is, like... This person ain't playing. Okay, this person don't got time for your bullshit. 
or you don't got time for they bullshit. Somebody don't got time for someone's lies, mind game plan, all that bullshit. This person knows what you've been up to. This person ain't playing that bullshit with you no more. Clarify the seven of cups, Aries. Clarify that seven of cups for the single. Okay. Aries, do you drink? You've been drinking and getting high, drunk, delusional. You're very attracted to this person. You have sexual desires for this person. All right. This person turns you on. They makes you horny. Yeah, you watching this person. You're getting kinky and freaky. You're getting kinky. I can't even say the word right. You're getting kinky and freaky by watching this person. You having all types of, like, you addressing this person with your eyes. All right, you could be intoxicated, you could be drinking and smoking and high, drunk, delusional, or whatever. Okay, um, you want to ask this person, do they want to drink and smoke with you? You want to go to this person, ask them, do they want to kick it? Do they want to drink? They want to smoke? <sighs> you very, you are addicted to this person, Aries. This person is very, you are very attracted to this person. This person is very beautiful towards you. This person is very gorgeous or handsome. All right. And you're very uh, attracted to this person. This person turns you on like a TV. <laughs> but yeah, you thinking all types of shit in your head towards this person, Aries. What you want to do to this person? I don't know if it's good things you want to do to this person, Aries. What the hell is that? It's like you thinking all types of shit. What you want to do? How you want to do this to this person? Clarify the, the Eight of Cups. <laughs> Oh, this shit is crazy. Clarify the Eight of Cups for the single Aries. Thank you. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Damn, Aries, you're caught. Yeah, you want victory and success with this person? You know, um, the eight of cups and the six of one. I mean, the six of wands. Yeah. You see this person like you won't. You want to celebrate with this person? I don't know what the hell that is. Six of. Yeah, you see this person is very popular and famous, like a celebrity or something, a star. Okay, let me do it one more time. I'm not going to get off y'all reading, Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry. God damn. You could be watching this person succeed. You can see this person very popular, famous, successful, following their dreams, they, you know, their career, their goals. Okay, Aries. You know... Clarify, yeah, you see this person is different from all the rest you used to deal with, mess around with. This person is totally different. It's something about this person that makes you, it just makes you so at peace when you're with them or around them. But look how long you've been gone. Clarify the Eight of Cups spirit for the, oh wait, shit. So we have cut off out of Eight of Cups. For the... Yeah, you can have Aries. You can be going. You can have a child by this person as well. Okay. Or um, you want to see your child. All of a sudden, you want to see your child. You want to see your child. <laughs> or you could be having some childhood problems. Maybe something that happened to you when you was a child that made you act this way, act out like this. Maybe you ain't never had a father figure in your life or mother figure. I don't know. Something makes you act like a bastard. Okay? And you don't know how to... <laughs> you had some childhood memories, something that happened to you when you was a child. Like I said, you didn't have a love. Did nobody show you love? 
uh, maybe other parents was them. They show you. I don't know, but the reason why you like going back and forth, like with your life, can't make up your mind, can't sit still, you can't settle down with one person, you're dysfunctional, you're unbalanced. And this got something to do with your childhood. Some shit happened to you when you was a child. Like I said, somebody didn't show you love, so I, I don't know. But the, this got something to do with the way your lifestyle is. I mean, whatever you whatever happened to you when you was a child or, or what kind of parents you had, whoever raised you or who whatsoever, it's like, that's the way you act. That's, I mean... It's because of something in your childhood that you never got from your parents or they never showed you. So you don't know how to show love. You don't know how to show Lord have mercy. Aries, this is y'all reading. I want to stop, but this is enough right here, Aries. Stay blessed. Smooches.